Alright, so today I wanted to talk about the new plugin which I just got, which I really love. So make a new scene, general, just delete everything, you won't need it. Uh, head over to Edit, Preferences, and then Spaceship Generator. I'll leave a link to this in the description, it's by Michael Davies, and it is spectacular. So let me show you what it does. Basically, get your new scene, you hit Shift A, new mesh, and you can just add a spaceship. And these spaceships are completely randomly generated, so they also come with materials pre-built in. Oh, let me look at texture mode. Yeah, and every time you change this, you'll get something new. It'll just regenerate into a completely new spaceship every single time. So I like this one. I'll uh, just keep it. You can size it up. It has geometry. So if you want, say, turn on proportional editing and you want this front face to be a little larger, you can just like crank this up and then you can make that. Now that's your ship. So yeah, you can change it completely proportionally. So my favorite thing about it is that it gives you so much like ability to just change things so quickly. So for example, I go into the world, this is one of my favorite little tricks. Uh, go ahead and add a noise texture, add a color ramp. Uh, from the noise check texture, hit Control T if you have Node Wrangler add-on enabled, different factor, color to color. Uh, switch this over to rendered so we can actually see it. This is what it looks like right now. Not that great. Turn that down. Crank that up. Put this at like 200, and boom, you have a star field. Very pretty. Now, head back over to layout. Get this rendered view. Stars. Beautiful not done yet we can go light add a sun and rotate it to the side now all of a sudden you have accurate lighting for your scene as well and you can just cruise around in space it's so easy now you can just bring this back animate it set a keyframe go up here bring it forward set another piece of cake now it just moves. Also something that I like to do, uh, which I saw online, which is popular, uh, go ahead into the materials. So the exhaust right here, it's just kind of a white light, but you can change that by going up and turning this into an emission texture. And then uh, let's make it slightly orange. Yeah, like that. And just set this at like you know, 20. And uh, go in here, bloom, screen space reflections. You can put on motion blur if you want. But yeah, check this thing out now. This flyby shot here. Yeah, no, just this looks like the beginning of a movie. You know what I mean? It looks, you can easily create excellent assets. And again, it's completely customizable. So if I turn this back on here, I can go into edit mode, get the vertex go through and if I want to customize this, all I gotta do is select it and rotate it. Boom. Boom. Now it's a straight ship. Yeah, you literally, you can do anything you want to these ships and they're com it's completely free as well, which I absolutely love. I'm a huge fan of free things. So yeah, this is online. I'll leave a link to it in the description, but I want to show you a couple extreme examples of things that you can do quickly. So we have this guy right up front, which I really enjoy. Let's turn on some. This guy, which I really enjoy. I'll just do a little twirl for you here. It's very kind of flounder looking. I don't know, I like that one. Uh, this guy. Again, these are just so easy to create. It literally is just control A and then you can make a completely new ship that you've never seen before. This guy, 
It's also great if you just want inspiration. You can make something entirely new instantly. Uh, then even bigger ones here, so I'll hide this. Even larger ones here, like this. Unlimited size. So for example, I have this one, which is the largest one I've created yet. And this was generated from, uh, I don't remember exactly what the stats were. I believe it was uh, 1, 19, 14, and 15, uh, going down in descending order. And it gave me this as a result, which is insane. Like, this is some empire-level crazy starship thing. It's epic. Same with this. Uh, I really like this one. I think that it very much looks like something from Star Wars, which I love. Yeah, no, it's super fancy. So something that I also did using this, just real quickly, was I modeled myself a very low-poly ship, which is this one right here. I can texture it instantly. I just smack a texture on it that already comes with one of these ships. And then I put an emission on the end so it looks like some little jets, you know? After that, I attach a void a uh, brain to an emitter, which I have placed inside this ship. Then I have another one placed inside this ship. So whenever I hit play, they send out little fighters that attack each other. Like, how cool is that? That's absolutely badass. I love it. And then they, they, they do. They attack each other. They fly around and they shoot down the other ships. Like, how cool. I... I'm absolutely in love with this add-on. I think that it is something spectacularly special. We will make... So again, this is on the, the Boyd's um, Boyd Brain Particle function. So I'm actually going to set Fall Leader up and Fight to be lower now that there's no enemies. But as you can see, these kind of just they fly out and they track along the ground and then they hit this plane and then they all group up and they start firing into it and it's just so cool like look at them they turn around and they start shooting in towards the the middle like that is spectacular i i absolutely love that here there's also something over here i was i was experimenting quite a lot with this but yeah look at this so they fly in and then they all part around it and they start shooting it like you can make I spent, I spent 10 minutes working on this. You can make something really, really spectacular if you actually put time and effort into it. I made a little render earlier. Again, it took me, like, I had to figure out all the particles and everything. So the render that you're seeing now took me about, grand total, I would say, 35 40 minutes if i didn't have to worry about all the uh, particle settings and stuff like that which i just had trouble with because i'm not really used to particles but yeah like just think if if you uh, first off with this i don't especially like what i did with camera moves and things like that but uh also that space station is just a free asset um from turbo squid i'll put that in the description as well but yeah i like just just think about what you could do with this if you actually spent like a decent amount of time making something especially if you get a ship that's really cool and you have a green screen that you can you know shoot on you can shoot live assets put them into your scene and then shoot the outside shots with this these these assets with these spaceships i think that yeah, no, it's a really spectacular add-on. I highly recommend using it. Just play around with it, mess around, and see if you can make anything awesome. Uh, save some of the ships. I highly recommend using the seed function whenever you create them. So here, uh, again, let me go into a new scene here. Clear out everything, create a spaceship. So whenever you create a new spaceship, as you can see, there's an option here for a seed. So if you type in a random number, you will get this. Like, even if you, if you type in this number that I just, let me make it easier, type in one. 
So if you type in four and you have these settings, this is what you will get. So with that, if you change these settings, if you find one that you really like, say it's that, and then you start messing around with it and trying to find how it, you know, looks a certain way. Maybe you take off the bevel modifier. Maybe you, yeah, you can just start really experimenting with it. If you create one, see, so this is the seed again is for, uh, let's say we use uh, 256. So 256 comes up and maybe I don't like it like that, but maybe if I put in vertical symmetry, take up horizontal symmetry, it creates something like this, okay? So something that I noticed a lot of is if I just rotate at 90 degrees, this looks like a completely different spaceship. Like, all of a sudden now, I'm really, I'm really liking this one. Like, I, I think I could totally use this. And yeah, it's just, I, I highly recommend it. Highly recommend just messing around with it, finding out what looks cool, what you enjoy. Uh, again, here, let me show you that shading trick again real quick. It's uh, noise texture, then color ramp, and then uh, just hit control T on here, um, get object, go to vector. You don't really need to do that. Factor down to factor, color to color. Crank this up to about here, uh, maybe a little more. Set the scale to like 200, just something ridiculously high. And then you got a star field. And if you want the stars to be brighter, you can go ahead and drag those closer together. Then they'll be brighter. And then, yeah, just add a sun and you're done, pretty much. Light, sun, rotate it. You're finished, my man. This looks awesome. I will be absolutely experimenting with more of this. So, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, drop a like, subscribe for more tutorials, and follow me on Instagram. And go download this and play around with it. Uh, share stuff, tag me in it if you create anything on Instagram, and just just show it off because yeah, this shit, I love it. Very happy about this.